Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support of the channel. I send you love and positive energy every day. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So lots of variety going on. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. What does Cancer need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all involved with cancer. Messages for cancer, please. Okay. All right, we'll start with the tarot and then we'll have the Angel Answers Oracle cards. We've got the Hangman, the Lovers, the Five of Cups, the King of Swords, the King of Wands, interesting, the Three of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Well, for some of you, if you had a disappointing ending, I will tell you, you get reconciliation here. I know not everybody loves that, but if somebody left very abruptly, like, you know, it seemed like they got scared or they just, they didn't think things through, I definitely see them wanting a second chance, okay? There's definitely a change of heart here. Um, you've got Gemini here. You have water, fire, air, and earth, all the elements. Of course, we've got two major arcana too. You know, you've got, this is important when we start to see this, you know, this illumination with the hanged man and the lovers, okay? The, the lovers used to be called the choice. There's something about this. There's going to be a turning point with a decision. Now, if it's not love for you and it has something to do with career, with the king of wands, that's fabulous. The king of wands makes everything upwardly mobile. But I will say again, with this in terms of love, this makes a nice energy um, for for celebrating love, for having a, a union with somebody, but with the um, with the hangman here, uh, this is a, a new perspective. It's an elevated perspective. It, it's reached through meditation, though, quieting all that noisy stuff that goes on in the mind. It's an energy too where you've released all resistance. You're, you've got like a real easygoing energy in this. So if you feel like you're tense, you're upset get get to here we got to get to here because when you're in the energy of the hanged man it's surrender to win the hanged man is a winner's energy there's no downside to this sometimes it's read as if it's a like a lapse or being stuck but really it's it's all about he turns upside down and he sees everything like it's a whole new world um and it's also too in terms of um you know time predictions here you've got um indications of late spring and this also is can it's um oftentimes related to the numbers four because of his legs it's the same shape as the lovers but four twelve twenty one okay so some of you it may be april into late spring something happens there and i know everybody wants it to be tomorrow but i'm just telling you what the cards are telling me um but with the hangman it is an energy of a vision quest it's seeing things as you want them and having them materialize in your life. And so this is an energy of bringing things forward. It's an energy of support too. So in terms of the lovers being here, there's an important relationship here, no doubt about it. And if it's a new relationship with the hangman, that allows you to attract high vibrational partners. You're easy going, you're light, you're full of love. I mean, there's no downside to that. And so with this, and the lovers, you've got a match here. Now, in terms of career, though, it can also be a career match. It's making a decision, though, to come from the place of love, no matter what it is for you. So somebody here with the King of Swords and King of Wands, it definitely could be a promotion to a supervisory position. And I feel like if there's obstacles with that, you're in a place where you're going to find solutions easily with the lovers. This can also be a card, though, of psychic energies, of you know, how the universe communicates with you. It's really all about how you can receive it. And so with this, it can be about dreams. Um, meditate before sleep. Ask the universe to tell you. And in your dreams, they may become more vivid, more clear. And you'll have that sense of knowing. So, but the lovers overall is a card that represents beauty inside and out. It's a very positive energy, a positive direction. 
in your life and especially too with those two kings coming in because they're the masters of communication and the masters of expansion so we dabbled in the five of cups already the five of cups can be really a fleeting disappointment you know, the minor arcana are minor they can't even be something like a crappy day i mean it doesn't have to be a life-changing event when we see something like the five of cups and really with the five of cups it's spirit telling you just to know that you are a divine being and so minor things that happen are not affecting your life force it really is about your decision and how you want to interpret it which is a lot to do with the hangman so you may have some minor things that happen and pay attention to them and say my god i let that go so easy it was in and out like a flash it didn't stick around that energy didn't stick around because this is like don't spill, uh, cry over spilled milk now i do want to say in terms of reconciliation again for some of you this person recognizes what they've done and i, I even hear them saying i failed to recognize there's something about that that's important where they made they had a failure on their part and i feel like it's been a lesson and and that's a lot of it too for all of us you know when something happens asking what is this teaching me and what lesson did i didn't i learn already because the universe will come back and keep replaying it right until we have mastery of that lesson it just comes back in a different pair of pants or a different dress until we figure it out and so if anybody here if it was related to how the person treated you it really is all about your self-worth and and expecting people to rise to the occasion and not not lowering your vibration for anything so speaking of high vibrational beings, the King of Swords comes in. It's it's clarity of mind. You know what you want in this energy, and there's nothing that'll stop you. It's grit. It's determination. But he's also nobility. So some of you, like I said, in a job setting, that easygoing energy, it's almost paradoxical because it's going to promote you. In this, even though he's he is a stern boss, don't get me wrong on that, Um it is an energy though of, of elevation like i said it's nobility so it's wealth and it's um there's something austere about him you know he's unapologetic for things so again for some of you you may be turning a corner where you're unapologetic for your standards and hell why why be you know what i mean like you're worth it and there's billions of people out there there's a match for everything anything you want has already existed if it's got a name it's available to you and so with the king of wands this is what gives you that extra pep in your step but it also you know with the king of swords he's so you know he's alone right with the king of wands he's got his little animal friend there he's got his little lizard and part of that is because you attract people in this energy it's a very charismatic energy now this also could be who you're attracting so if it was an issue with um something work related where it's a relationship that may be halted because the person was more focused on their work and career again i do feel like the love is what they're missing and they're recognizing that big time but with the king of wands he has an irresistible charm i mean even if he can be kind of an ass there's still something very likable about him you know there's something about him that he knows how to walk into a room and and become you know friendly with everybody there there's like i said there's a likability in this energy so whether it's you or the person you're attracting with it it's also being all in the king of wands won't mess around with stuff that isn't a match and i still that keeps coming over and over and over again and that may be more about you and saying look i know what i want and what i don't want in the king of swords and with the king of wands it'll come to you because this is expansion it's growth it's attraction it really is um, about, you know, being a match and energetically. So um, with this, you've got this Three of Cups and it's celebration. Interesting about the Three of Cups, these women dancing, they know what those cups are. They look at those cups and value the cups, right? They're holding them up in victory. So it's a card that tells you it's interesting with the two or the Five of Cups there because the Five of Cups is also telling you to be in appreciation both of these in different ways but the difference is that in the three of cups you know that there's value you know what you have around you and you appreciate it and maybe all the little things and I know this is weird but somebody I see getting a cake like somebody bakes a cake for you and again that's one random person probably on here but it's all that stuff like really taking a step back and looking at it and going god I do have some really great people in my life and it doesn't matter what happened with that relationship love is all around you and that's what you are so you're attracting it so i mentioned the seven of swords i do not get this as your energy i just didn't pick it up as that it seems more like i said somebody who made a very abrupt poorly thought out departure 
Um, it, you know, it doesn't feel malevolent though. It doesn't feel like somebody who intentionally tried to be dishonest, even if they were. And I know that sounds kind of weak, like, well, how can you not try to be dishonest? But even if there was a level or measure of dishonesty with their behavior, I don't feel like that's what they set out to do. Um, and like I said, I do feel like overall their moral character is of somebody who wants to repair the situation. Now, if it's not a love relationship, if it's something else, I still feel the same way with that. They do want reparation. I do feel like there's something about it that really, and maybe there's a little bit of fear, like they, they have some familiarity with spiritual laws and they're also concerned about what boomerang effect that's going to have on them. So with the page of pentacles here, the page is bringing optimism and new perspectives. He honors and ex is values that pentacle. So again, there's something about that. Um, but I also feel like in a work setting, it's opportunity knocking for you. It's somebody who values you and it may be your overall reputation and just feeling elevated, appreciated. And in terms of a relationship too, you do have somebody coming in who will appreciate you and appreciate what you bring into a relationship. So let's see here, Cancer, what the angels have to say for you. For Cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising. Yes. Your messages for Cancer. All right, we've got romance. I have not seen that card, I swear, in ages. So I must have left something out. They felt like it was important. Um, it's up to you, they say. And I feel like that, that's also true. There's something about this where I do feel like you are going to be calling the shots on something. Remain positive, they say. So know that you're empowered here and perfect timing. And you have a yes. So good things are on the way for you, Cancer. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.